Hello my friend and welcome to part number 28 in this playlist so before uh, or it's just in the last episode we haven't actually finished the process of sending uh, a message to as many people as we want because we had a problem now in this video we will fix it but only if you have subscribed to this channel so don't forget to go right now and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so we will not miss my upcoming content so do that and let's go so the issue that we had is that uh, once we or when we have uh, we wanted to create that uh, message we didn't know the chat id so uh, i think that uh, we should just uh, you know add another piece so i will just explain to you uh, the first uh, page stage will be choosing people and the second one will be choosing uh, people chats right we want to pick up their ch the chat that we have with them with them so you will see uh, how we how we do that because we need it so uh, for example so since both of them are lists if we have added john to this list at, uh, at index number three for example we will add the chat that we have with him at the third uh, index in this playlist in this list as well but how we do that so we need to change the back end here so the back end should be chats so we know we want to bring out the chats because if we can break out the chats then we can have the chat id and uh, we and after that we want to use a filter so we will not pick up all the chats we'll pick up only those that we are a participants in so array contains us again the same previously so choose ourselves here confirm now we are bringing our own data right here once we have uh, now uh, i will just give you a reference to help you understand so in the chats page here we have used the guest name the guest image you know the, those custom codes let's do them again here so this one here if we come back if we come down here we want to go all, all the way down and instead so since this is a chat we want to get that guest uh, uh, name right so we can go down and choose the those custom functions so i'm going to choose those custom functions the participants name from this one uh, this one here and my name is from my document so authentication user confirm right uh, the same goes for uh, the image so you can choose again uh, guest image function give it the both uh, images so which can return the the other one's uh, image not mine so the authentication user image here it is go so now let's actually fix uh, this one these actions so here after we have so once we turn on what we do is that so people choose we want to add what that's the question what you want to add that's that's the hard question you want to add the guest right so i want to uh, add the guest but i think that, that we don't have a function to return the guest id just like that so because here we want to add so what we want to add to that is uh, so go out so yes but what we want to add here to this that to this list is the id of the guest we cannot get it because we don't have a custom code that gives us the his id so uh and since the ids are pretty much like uh uh a string so we can just duplicate this one so get guest id so we want to get the id so the return value will be document reference from users and it will, it will use utilize the same logic as all the other functions so all the only thing i will change is the format of the, the return value and the parameters so 
document reference from users and this one as well users so let's now uh, compile it so I hope that we will, ha we will have no errors at all yes that's great so now let's go back here so we want to have the guest ID to put it in this list so now let's use that function that we have just created to get his ID not my not our ID so guest ID give it the IDs of the participants so you can choose just and we want to pick up that one and then give it our own uh, ID so you can choose the guest so I right, so no further changes of course that is the first so the second so once we have added so Jack we have he was he was the guest I had a conversation with Jack I we have added him uh, at the first place here right after that we want to add the chat that we had with him in the first place right so in, but this time is for the chat so I want to update the next well why don't we just do it here so we want to ha add the other one now we want to add the chat we had with Jack so uh, add to list this one so this is the chat we had with Jack so we can just pick up the ID and now uh, what's the error yes we have the error on the other side so we can copy it paste it here delete this one and just uh, switch it remove from list so I think that we just we can, I can just copy this variable so once we have removed this from list I can just paste it here so that's a trick K keep it in mind so I can't just copy this one I'm, uh, I'm lazy so uh, so let's walk through walk you through ag through it again. When it's once turned on, it will add the you know that people that person who we had the chat with. We use this to get his ID, just like how we got his image and name. We use this to get his ID, so we can put it here because this is just document reference. We want to pick up put his ID there, and here we put the 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 chat we had with him in the same level. So one. So at the first stage we had John, John's ID and uh, his his church with me. Below we have Maria's ID and my church with her. So on and so forth. You will see why I have done that. Now once we have fixed this, let's move on to the next step and create those messages. So so now if we come back here, so here we have done that. And the first thing to do is to create. So now we have we, all of what we have done was just to have this chat ID. Now the chat ID. So we create a message for the chat ID. So where is the chat ID? So we want to pick up the first one in the list. So in that page state. But wait a minute. We have missed some, a mistake. So uh, here we have done this choosing people. The first idea was to send a message to a particular people, but later on we figured out that we can send a message only in a chat. So there is no need to, to, to keep this one. We can just keep the chats because we want to create a message inside a chat. And uh, I really hope I see that there is no need to keep it there. So let's remove it. We will have some errors. We will fix them, of course. So four errors. So remove it field. Uh, so we d there is no reason to keep it there so update yes so now uh, we want to f uh, change everything so the number so for so for this loop to work we want to so the chance that we have added to that page stage needs to be greater than zero which means that they have s there there are there is something there so this one I want to go to number of items greater than zero so if we have added many chats so one two three if that was true then we want to create a chat we want to create a message inside of the first chat then the second one then the third one the loop will work until this condition is broken some for example you have three ch three people you have chosen 
you the 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 loop work three times and now the number of and it, uh, it the number of items now is zero it will not work so that's uh, uh, the condition under which it will stop and uh, that's what i call a limited condition it the first at, at, at the beginning it work and at uh, it will stop at one point that's uh, what you should do you cannot keep an unlimited uh, condition for a loop or it will run forever so for the chat we want to pick up the first one here uh, item at index uh, first so right below so once we have created some uh, we, uh, we haven't done that of course but just I want to remind that once we have created that in the first list you need to remove it or you will create the same message in the same chat again so just remove it from the first uh, stage uh, paste it uh, remove from list uh, no remove uh, from list at index zero so we have created a message in the first chat so let's just remove it and create it for the next one which will take the first place again so for example we have one two three we have created for the first one we have deleted it and the, the second one took its place when the loop will work again it will not create it for this one because it was uh, deleted removed it will create it for the second one which took its place uh, now let's create the message of course so some some things are very uh, so what I will have to do here is to just so for the sender ID so we have done the uh, uh, where is it so let me see I think we have done a backend call all right so the backend call is on this column it can this button cannot reach it so let's give it to the page I guess or to the stack move this backend call to the stack now we can use it here since because this button is a child of the container which is a child of uh, that stack it, it can access that data so what you should do is to go to the sender ID and open this one and pick up the sender ID and keep pushing this for the same field because you will just be copying the same message and creating it in that chat so I will do all of that and then come back so now once this loop is finished we can then uh, navigate to uh, to the home page I guess well uh, we can just navigate to the whichever, whichever page you like so you can uh, go to mm, this is going to be social feed just go there you can go here so now uh, let me just walk you again through this one so the loop we have given a limited condition if the number of uh, chats we have added to the chosen chats we have chosen some people we have put them in the in, in a, a pay state if there were three then that loop will work if we haven't chosen anything then it will not work and you will navigate directly back to the social feed you can add some another logic it's up to you i'm not gonna go in depth because i have already done a very complex stuff so you can put something uh, else if you can use a condition, uh, conditional visibility a conditional action if it is uh, yes true you do whatever you like you have fun with that so this loop will create a message for each chat the logic will be to create it for the first list in item and then delete that so for the next loop it, w it will uh, the first one will be so i will now give you just let's just wait i will give you an example uh of how it works so we i'm gonna be using my yes just like that so we, we have it so item one uh, two and three so let's make this blue so in the first loop we have created a chat a message for this chat right we have created that and we have deleted it this one will take its place at the first index the second loop will create it for this one create that message and then delete it and this one will take its place the third loop we still have one the loop will, will work we create we will create a message for it and then delete it for the second loop the loop will see that there is nothing here it will not work it will skip the loop it will skip itself and move on to 
uh, navigation to social feed i really hope you have got the idea it's very simple and you guys know what you are doing i hope that you have enjoyed this video from the end to finish if you do don't forget to please to give it a thumbs up it helps the video reach more people because i do a lot of things here so you can learn no code for free don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and family so until next time take care of yourself and happy development